Tasty Lethal Tactics comes out of early access today for $14.99. And it's a tactics game where you control a squad of mercenaries, attempting to complete an objective or wipe out the enemy team. However, before I begin this 5 minute review, this key was obtained for the developer for review purposes, but it won't change my opinion of the game in the end. You've got a couple of modes here, some main objective missions, a skirmish, and online play, but honestly they all center around the same gameplay. Anyone who's played Frozen Cortex should know what they are in for here. You give your units orders every turn to do a specific set of actions in a very specific timely manner. You could have them run, crouch, and look in specific directions for enemies that are coming to hunt you down. You could also make them wait a period of time before a turn ends to do an action. The biggest skill in my opinion is the hold on sight ability, which means your characters will stop if they see a threat in their line of sight. Each of your soldiers will have a unique ability, such as being able to fire quicker over a long distance, or firing a really big explosive. Now there are some that I find, well, a lot more powerful considering their usefulness. For example, the scout's ability to be able to reveal your opponent's location, yeah, it's a bit powerful. All the characters have their own stats, some are faster at shooting, some do more damage, and you'll need to use your chosen crew to best play out your strategy. One of the big things to note is priority, in particular that characters who aren't moving get first shot priority over those who do, and each character has a reaction speed on when they can fire after seeing someone in their line of sight. This leads to a special chess match, who will get the right angle on each other and take the first big risk to take down the enemy opponent. Despite damage differences and everything, getting the first shot in this game is rather important. Because of the way the game plays, you have to play cautiously and slowly a good amount of the time. And for me, it plays way, way too slowly. I get it, naturally creeping up on a position so that I don't take a face full of lead makes sense, and it is nice to pull off a trap once in a while. It's simple and yet complex, which should get me interested. And yet, I have a feeling I've played it before. In fact, I have. It's vastly similar to Frozen Cortex in a lot of ways. However, there are some hiccups in this version. One of the problems I have is the perspective itself. The realistic foliage and barrier at times makes it really hard to see if there's a line of sight or not. Sure, it's easy to see where your guy can see, but it's not easy to see if someone could see you from a particular spot. There were several occasions where I mistakenly thought I was protected and then found myself at the end of a shot to the head. You'll have to zoom in to really get an idea of if you're hidden or not, and again, it slows the game down even more. Now the AI is actually somewhat complex here, and what bothers me is the lack of difficulty settings. Even playing the same map several times, the AI would change its strategy reasonably, but at times it felt like it was reacting to my specific movement and strategy. I noticed the enemy stopped going forward despite seemingly having no problems moving before, and I can't help but think it's reacting to my moves which is troublesome considering I don't have access to the same information that it does. That's why the game is so much better against a human counterpart, if you can find any. Maybe this will get better on launch or I had some really bad luck, but trying to find someone to play was a major hassle. In fact, rarely did I find anyone I could challenge online, and when I did, I'm pretty sure they were on the other side of the world. The game still isn't optimized very well, there's a reasonable loading time when you end a round, and sometimes the camera shoots off in one direction for seemingly no reason. I thought I might have done that with the mouse accidentally, but nope, it can do that once in a while, just seemingly out of nowhere. Now this isn't a killer, considering the genre and the turn-based aspect, but it's still something I pointed out. If the game gets a bit more of a player base on a regular basis, I check Steam Spy for that, then those who appreciate a very slow and tactical match of wits will enjoy this back and forth. I'll admit that the game isn't my cup of tea, and I believe that Frozen Cortex does things a bit better than this version. However, from an online human standpoint, this may be your best bet considering the age of that game. Just be sure to find a buddy to play before you dive into this one. Thanks for watching. Like the video, share it with a friend, and subscribe if you want more content like this. In the description below, you'll find the Steam review accompanying this vid, along with social media that you can follow me on, Twitter, Google+, and Facebook groups. And if you want to support the channel, click that Patreon on the left of the screen. And remember, keep on gaming.